Hi everybody, this is Randy. So, um, I'm mostly known for my videos on narcissism and narcissistic personality disorder, narcissistic abuse, right? That's how I started off in YouTube and I believe that was three years ago. I was inspired to begin by Serena Nightshade. And by the way, Serena is doing fine for those of you who are wondering. I know her uh, videos, I think they're all down and she has not been making videos for probably over a year. Um, but I still have the ability to communicate with her um, now and then. So that's an update a little bit on her. The next thing I wanted to talk about was, well, how my channel had kind of morphed after I said everything I could possibly say um, about narcissism and frankly, you know, was pretty tired of it, like have nothing else to say, don't really want to hear about anybody's I don't I don't listen to YouTube videos about narcissistic personality anymore um, basically unsubscribed to most of the channels that I listened to and just here and there uh, a new person pops up on the on YouTube and I might subscribe to them and listen to them a little bit um, but there is a finality kind of that you reach where you don't have any more questions. You know, I've been no contact for um, solidly for three years now. And uh, then my channel kind of morphed into dating, being about dating, right? Um, like, how do you find a new person? And a lot of people want, want to say that it's, you know, oh, well, you just don't trust, you don't trust anyone and everyone seems like a narcissist to you. Uh, whether they really are or not, uh, that is how it seems, but, you know, there's the other possibility that they really, they are narcissists. You see them as narcissists and they are, or you see that everybody has narcissists and they aren't, you know, but I dated, uh, went on hundreds of dates, usually just once, and I found the pool of uh, available men my age to be seriously deficient and lacking and unattractive. I lost interest. I gave up. Around August of last year, I started, you know, making videos explaining that I was going to just get another job and take time off not even try to meet anybody because it was basically a waste of time. Uh, so I did that and so that's been about seven months that I've just been focusing focusing on work. I probably went out on maybe three dates with some losers uh, during that time still left my profile up on, on the dating site. Never met anybody uh, by chance or, you know, through an activity face-to-face -face during that time or during really any time. So what happened in February, early February, was actually that a man that I had met on the dating site or through the dating site and met him and went on one date. I went on the date with him in 2013 and he contacted me again in February 2018. 
Now, when I went on the first date with him in 2013, I liked him. That was one of those rare ones that I thought, oh, I like this guy. Um, he's cute. He's tall enough. He seems to have his shit together. And he's funny. And, yeah, I could go out on another date with him. That was, I mean, when he didn't ask me out on a second date, I just, you know, took it on the chin, like, and then had some more of those occurrences when I happened to actually like somebody and they didn't ask me out so he was one of the first of you know probably seven or eight throughout the years that I liked and then they did not end up asking me out on a second date so um, I just chalked that up to experience that is going to happen well he got a hold of me again five years later and he wants to go out on a date and of course I said yes right away because I don't know maybe he changed his mind I don't know what went on in his life but I liked him the first time so I figured I'll probably still like him let me go out on this second date with him five years later <laughs> Uh, so we connected, went, up, went to a restaurant, had fun. Um, anyway, fast forward to now, that was about a month ago. Um, I'm actually still dating the guy. Yeah, this is the first, this is really the first kind of dating I'm actually doing with, the, with one person. So... We are dating, right? And the cool thing about it is that he wants the same thing as I do, which is companionship, fun, planning for the rest of our lives for this, like, final chapter in our lives. And not really wanting, being able to do it alone, but not really preferring to. He's pretty selective himself, which is an unusual characteristic for a man. <laughs> Usually they're not selective at all. And so we have that in common. He doesn't live far from me. He um, has a skilled trade. We have a lot of things in common just uh, because of where we grew up and kind of, he has, I have to say that the best quality that I have found so far in the like five or six dates that I've gone on with um, this person is is that and I told him so yesterday that I he doesn't seem damaged by life he has been married and but has been divorced for 17 years so he knows what it's like to be married and he's also lived with one or two people maybe in during that 17 years but didn't remarry um like i said he's selective but he doesn't seem like he's super ruined or damaged which is really hard to find in a man that's you know 50 years old he has like that light-hearted um fun relaxed easygoing attitude that you do see in a younger person who just hasn't been like thrown around tattered and broken by life and he still is energetic and he's very social and friendly which is not usually my type um he's not exactly my type, but um, he's like, uh, I think he's good for me. And I don't have to make too much of a stretch to uh, enjoy myself around him. Um, it's not awkward. And um, he's not intimidated by me um, anywhere near uh, how most guys are he's not intimidated by me 
at all, but he is, he is hesitant. I think he's hesitant to make a mistake. Um, I think he really wants to have some kind of investment, and it doesn't necessarily with me mean with me, of course. It's too soon to tell that. And it's too soon for anything. But what I do see is that we want the same things. And uh, we're also both independent and capable of uh, pooling general resources to actually, you know, end up with a lot, you know, a lot of, you know, decent amount of money, decent amount of time, free time and health and energy and similar interests, right? That's, that's what you need. And that's what, uh, that's what I'm looking for. And that's what he's looking for. And we seem to have found that right now, of course, too soon to tell, but, um, I'm not head over heels like I would like to be in terms of attraction but you know I'm attracted enough uh, to see if that can grow but it's good enough uh, so that I don't have to, I'm not forcing myself to do anything and uh, things are moving very slowly very very slowly so I don't feel like he's uh, wanting something from me. He's been very helpful. He actually like came over and shoveled my snow. He's been extremely helpful. And I am uh, getting surgery on my knee soon. So I will be off of work and I will probably be making some YouTube videos in the future. But I did want to give everybody this update. So uh, yeah steady dating or maybe even a boyfriend at our age is possible um, but it you have to work very hard for it and you might have to go on like 200 dates and what's funny is is that this guy was one of the first guys probably one of the first 25 dates I went on after I got divorced and uh, he looks me up five years later. So anything is possible, ladies. Anything's possible. And you know what I've gone through. And I'm not like overly anxious or hopeful getting my hopes up for anything. I'm taking it day by day. And uh, I think this is what they mean by like, a mature relationship that doesn't start off super super fast and like with all the lovey dovey um, I can't get you out of my head it's not like that it's just kind of calm and comfortable and uh, fun so that's what I wanted to say I don't know what my YouTube channel is going to develop into, but this is where it's at. I don't know. Maybe it'll, it'll become about, it'll, it'll be uh, something about like relationships, actual relationships instead of trying to find one. All right. Have a great weekend.